Good day. In this video, we're going to teach you how to do long division using a very small number in our divisor. We're going to divide 137 by 2. First, you draw the long division roof up and sideways. I advise you to use quad paper, especially in the beginning when you are busy learning how to use long division. You put your divisor outside and your dividend inside. Forget those big words. You're going to divide the 2 into the 137. You're going to divide the 2 into the 137. You're going to know how many 2's are inside 137. Firstly, we write down the divisors multiplication tables here. So 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. You can just double the 2. 3 times 2 is 6. And you do all of them up until 9 times 2, which is 18. Then you use a set pattern when you do long division. You divide, then you multiply, then you subtract, you bring down and you repeat. You don't have to learn that. It'll come automatically if you look at the video a few times. Right, here we go. You ask 2 goes into 1 how many times? 2 can't go into 1, so you write no times. Then you write a multiplication sign right over here. Then you say 0 times 2 equals. You write your 0 down here. Now you minus the 0 from 1. Put a minus. You minus the 0 from the 1, you get 1. Then you bring down the first number next door, which is 3. And that gives you. 13. Now you went through your pattern once. You divided, you multiplied, you subtracted, and you brought a number down. Now you repeat. You say 2 goes into 13. How many times? I go and look here. What is the biggest amount of 2's I have that is just less than 13? In this case, 12. So there is 6 2's in 12. So there will be 6 2's in 13. I write the 6 up there. So we write 6 up here. Now your eyes must go with me. I take this 6 times 2 and I write the answer here. That is 12. Then I minus the 12 from the 13. And I get 1. Then I bring down the next number. And that leaves me with 17 down here. Now I'm finished again. I divided, I multiplied, I subtracted, and I brought down. Now I repeat. You ask, 2 goes into 17 how many times? I look over here. What is the number just smaller than 17, which is 16? So 2 will go 8 times into 16. So it will go 8 times into 17 too. Then I write my 8 up here, then let your eyes go with me again, you take this 8, you multiply it with 2, and you write the answer here, you write 16, then you minus the 16 from the 17, that will give you 1, and then there is nothing more to bring down, so that means now you've finished, you can't repeat anything. Now this 1, becomes my remainder, which I write up here. And you write, remainder, just abbreviation, 1. So 2 divides into 137, 68 times, remaining 1. And this we can now write as an answer. Please stop the video and get your brain around what happened here. Just quickly, a few big words that you might run into while working with division. Firstly, if we see a division sum like this, this is called your dividend, this is called your divisor, the answer is your quotient, and what is left is the remainder. Don't be afraid of these words. In this, looking like this, this is my divisor, this is my dividend, this is my answer or the quotient, and the remainder is what is left. If you really understand the long division, let me quickly show you how to do the same question in short division. 
you still write it like this and get your multiplication tables of the divisor over here. Then you say 2 goes into 1. It can't, so you put your 0 over here. And you carry, you kill this 1 and you carry it over next door. Then you have 13. Then you ask 2 goes into 13. You look over here how many times? 6 times. You write your 6 up there. 6 times 2 is 12. So of this 13, there is still 1 left, which I carry here. So that gives you a 17 over there. Then you ask 2 goes into 17. I look over here. Yes, here. It goes in 8 times. Put my 8 up there. You write 8. And then you know of that 17, there is still 1 left. That leaves you with Remainder, then you write remainder, one, and then you finished. Don't be afraid of this technique. Lastly, after you've learned how to work with decimals, the last thing will happen to you. After you finish this question up to here, and you got this answer one down here, when they taught you how to work with decimals, the following will occur. You will then have to say, but I still have something that I can divide by. So you'll do the following. You'll go up here. You will put a comma in the question there, and you will put a comma in the answer there. Then you add in as many zeros as you want. Let's start with two. Now you can just repeat what, you're, what you've learned so far. You bring down the next number. So that makes this a ten. Then you ask, again, how many twos are there in ten? You look over there, that's five. You write your five up there. Then you go through the whole rhythm again. You say 5 times 2. You come down here. And you write your 10. Then you minus this 10 from the other 10. And you get a 0 down here. And now there's nothing left at the bottom. And we are finished. So here the answer is 68,5. That is the same as 68 remainder 1. Looks totally different. But you'll understand it when you get there. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video and subscribe to the channel. If you have a problem with a specific mathematical question, you may send a clear WhatsApp photo of your problem to this number and a clear WhatsApp photo of where you tried it. Then we will try and solve the problem and send back an answer to you as soon as possible. Enjoy Long Division.